In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, create a heads up display and then use, uh, rather than removing uh, the widget from the screen, actually just hide it. So in this case, a main menu. So in this uh, blank project that I've got, I'm going to actually uh, create a user interface a widget blueprint, and I'm going to call this main menu. I'm going to go into there and I'm just going to just add some buttons. So this would be the equivalent of having this menu on screen. So we can see there we've got these three buttons. Uh, these would be options on this menu. Uh, as you can see there, we've got these three buttons are actually in the canvas panel. And this is the canvas panel. And the canvas panel can also be a variable and if I call the canvas panel um, my menu I'm going to compile it going to uh, to blueprints a little blueprints and what I need to do is when I press a button it's going to bring the menu up uh, in fact I'm going to toggle between having the menu on and off so I'm going to say key X. Uh, I want to keep it X is pressed. <coughs> it's going to flip flop. And the flip flop it's going to do is when you first press it, it's going to Create the widget, and it's going to be my main menu. Actually, what we'll do is uh, let's say on begin play, we'll create the widget, main menu, and we're going to Instead of just adding it to viewport, what we're going to do is we're going to utilize this um, and this return value to actually uh, set up a variable. Okay, so um, I'm going to promote that to a variable. It's called new var zero. Uh, and then we're going to add to viewport. So we've got this variable here, um, we'll give it a slightly better name and we'll call it um, menu. So we set menu and then add to viewport. Okay, and the flip flop is going to be that we're going to set the visibility, widget availability. And the target is going to be the menu. So when we first press it, it's going to make it visible. And when we press it again, it's going to make it hidden. So just to go over, when we start, we're going to put them the widget on screen. I set up this variable we're going to add to viewport so that will put the menu on when we press X it will flip between toggling it to be hidden or visible I'll just compile that okay so we press play we can see the menu there we're pressing X and it's toggling its visibility on and off so that's a different way of controlling this um, rather than removing widgets all the time. So we can set up um, different blueprints. And at the beginning, we can put the different uh, widgets on screen. We can add them all to viewport. We set up the variables. And then from the level blueprint, we can just toggle the visibility depending upon what we want to see. So you could, for instance, have the score and you add that to the viewport 
uh, we also have the um, the main menu that pops up <clears throat> and it's only the main menu that's going to be uh, hidden uh, the score could actually stay on there and this is a better way of doing things than uh, remove uh, remove all widgets uh, because obviously then you need to put the ones back on that you need uh, and that's it quite simple